Welcome back Pez Collectors. Today's video is going to be all about the General Mills Monster Cereals Pop Pez and they were released in 2018 so not too long ago and I recently got in the mail the blueberry one and I showed it off on my channel and somebody commented on it and I thought that showing the rest of the series would be a lot of fun because as I was doing some research, I looked back and I was like, oh yeah, that's how those were released because I forgot. So you couldn't just go to Funko.com or Pez.com or, you know, GameStop or whatever and easily buy these. There was another way you had to buy these. So I'm going to talk about that in this video as well. So let's get started. <laughs> To get started, this is the monster cereal one I was talking about, the blueberry one that I unboxed. I think it was a video or two ago, but this is it. And you can see on here that there's a GameStop exclusive sticker. So let's look at this one first and I'll tell you more about them. So here you go, this is blueberry. And you can see here there's a sticker on it and it says only at GameStop. And like I said, these were released in 2018. And back in 2018, Funko announced on you know the social media that they were going to come out with these monster cereals pop pez and they initially didn't tell us what store was going to be selling these but eventually funko said you know that you're going to be able to get these at gamestop and they're going to come in a mystery box full of other funko products which i think is kind of fun but i think at the time i remember going oh man that's going to be kind of hard to get them because the mystery boxes were 20 dollars and it only came with one pop pez and there's five of these pop pez in the series so just imagine like trying to get all of these <laughs> seems like you're better off just waiting for someone else to list these on ebay because they just want like one funko pop or something that was in the box otherwise it just seems like you'd be spending so much money trying to get all of these you know trying to buy you know five twenty dollar boxes which your odds of getting all different ones are probably really slim <laughs> A couple weeks ago I was looking on eBay and I saw someone selling these and I was like oh these are really nice I don't have these and they're a pretty good price so I was like I'll buy these but in the meantime I forgot that I did buy them and I bought a blueberry from someone else that I bought something from <laughs> so I have two blueberries which is fine because these are really cool I like these a lot but I did pay five dollars for this blueberry from another pest collector but on eBay I spent thirty five dollars for the whole set of five which is a little bit more than $5 each, but still I think a pretty good price considering if I would have had to buy $20 boxes back in 2018. <laughs> I could have probably spent hundreds of dollars trying to get those. These are cool. So let me show you these real quick and then I'll tell you even a little bit more about them because I think it's pretty interesting. So this is the blueberry, but let's open these up. I did just want to point out, I always like to show the Pez still in their plastic package here before I open them if they come in a box. <laughs> so there it is in the little package. But another reason I want to share this because there is no Pez pack in these. So none of these came with Pez. So for example, see how there's a pack of Pez in here? So none of the Cereal Monster Pop Pez came with a pack of candy, which I don't really care because I don't eat the candy anyway. <laughs> but I haven't found anything online saying, you know, like why they don't come with candy. So if you know, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I don't know, it's just an interesting fact, I guess. Because it's like you buy a pest dispenser and it comes with no candy. This one's so cute. I mean these pop pets, they just look so much better outside of the box. I just don't like opening them. Especially if they're like chase versions or you know something very specific. Like a limited run of them. Because they are a little bit more pricey than just a regular pest dispenser. But these look so nice outside of the box. So take a closer look at the blueberry pop pets. <laughs> And this blueberry pop pez is pretty much all light blue, which is really nice. So the head is light blue. He's wearing a yellow hat with a red stripe and then the stem is the same light blue. It matches almost perfectly. It looks really nice. <laughs> the character designs on these, I like these a lot. I don't know much about the cereals, but they're really cute. And here is a picture of what Funko advertised that you could get in the box set. Which I think is really interesting because the box that these came in, they had like a retro TV printed on them. Which I think is really cool. But on there it says only $20 and it's like scratched off and it was $25. <laughs> but if you would have bought one of these boxes and you were into collecting Funko Pops, they also had a chance for the limited edition Chase Pop, which I think is pretty cool. So if you're into, you know, collecting the Chases, 
But that's not for the Pez, that's just the Funko Pops. And these are for the Saturday morning cartoon Funko mystery box. That's what they called it back then. And before I show you the rest of the Pop Pez in this series, I just wanted to show you real quick what you could have got in the boxes. I like this. <laughs> So inside the box they had Funko Pops and there were five of them and you had a chance of just getting one per box. And then you also had one of two chances of getting the Tom and Jerry plush. Wish these are really cute. <laughs> and then there was also one Goof Troop pen, which I guess there was only one you could get. I don't know. And then there was one bag of glow-in-the-dark stars, which sounds like a lot of fun. Sounds like, you know, you're eating your cereal and you put your glow-in-the-dark stars on your ceiling as a kid. <laughs> And then you had one out of five chances of getting, you know, one of these Funko Pop Pez. I think if you're collecting any of these, it'd probably just drive you crazy. <laughs> I don't really like mystery boxes, but once I get mystery boxes, I'm all about them. But just the thought of like having to buy, you know, five of one thing just to get one thing, it just drives me crazy. <laughs> but they are a lot of fun and a lot of people like mystery boxes. So I guess they make them and they sell them. So. So there are four more in this series, so let's take a look at those. Next up in this series is Fruit Brute. <laughs> I love the name of this one. This is the only character I think in the series that I was like, who is Fruit Brute? I think the rest of these I've seen, like around Halloween, you can go to your grocery store and they've remade these General Mills cereals, like vintage style, I think. <laughs> but Fruit Brute, I was like, who's that? But this one is cool. <laughs> So take a closer look there at Fruit Brute before I open them up. It also has the only a GameStop sticker there on it. <laughs> Love it. I don't know if this is cat or dog, but it's Fruit Brute. I wonder if it's supposed to be like a werewolf or something. Let me know in the comments below if you know who Fruit Brute is or what kind of animal it's supposed to be. <laughs> I love it. This Fruit Brute Pop Pez, the head is brown. It's a furry brown. It has nice texture on it. It looks really nice. The stem is a lighter orange color. Looks really great. <laughs> if you took this out of the box, I'd be like, who is that? I don't know. I'm not familiar with this character like at all. That's another reason I like to leave these Funko Pop Pez in their boxes because it tells you, you know, who they are. So it's easy to recognize, you know, the characters and what they're from, especially if like other people are overlooking at your collection. This one's great. I love the color on this one. <laughs> this one's Yummy Mummy. And again, it has the only at GameStop exclusive sticker on it there. Like it. Oh, and if you want to check out the back, I didn't show you the back of the other ones, but they're all the same. Just shows you how to load the Pez dispenser. Make sure you follow these instructions. You can't put the Pez underneath from the bottom and pop it out. <laughs> this one is so nice. <laughs> looks like it's got a lot of rubber bands wrapped around it. So there you go. There's Yummy Mummy. <laughs> what do you think of this one? This Yummy Mummy Pest Dispenser has a bunch of mummy wraps around its head in like pink and yellow and purple. Then look at those white eyes just peering out behind those wraps. It's pretty eerie. <laughs> and then the stem is purple. It looks really nice. I like the color combination of this. Like the pastel colors. It looks really great. It's almost just like a square head wrapped in rubber bands. And there's two more here. This one is Frankenberry. So take a closer look here at Frankenberry. I like this one. <laughs> it's all pink. Love it. This one's so cool. Take a closer look at Frankenberry. I love the detail around the eyes and then whatever like this little thing is, like a little pressure valve reader or whatever. <laughs> I like this. The Frankenberry Pop Pez is mostly pink. So the head is a lighter pink and it has like red accents on it and a darker pink accents on it as well. And the stem is a really nice pink color. It doesn't match the head exactly in the same tone, but it's still pink and it looks really nice. <laughs> this is like the Valentine's monster. <laughs> and then there's one more here. <laughs> oh yeah. Count Chocula is the last one in the series. I know I've eaten some Count Chocula cereal in my lifetime. Sometime probably was when I was a kid or something. This one is so cute. The little mouth. <laughs> so there you go. Take a closer look at Count Chocula. Is he chocolatey delicious? <laughs> this Count Chocula Pop Pez is mostly brown. The head is brown. It's got a lighter cream colored face. I guess it's kind of still brown. The stem 
is brown as well. It's not the exact same brown as the head, but it's pretty close. And those little teeth, I guess, in the mouth makes it so cute. And the little pointy ears. <laughs> it almost looks like a little elf Count Chocula or something. I love it. <laughs> I've been reading too many fantasy books lately. This one's great. I'm pretty glad I ended up opening these. I think I'm going to display them like this. It's easy to put the pop pez back in their boxes as long as you don't mess up the box. I guess while you are opening it, it doesn't really harm it if you do open it up and you know display it for a while and then put it away. At least in my opinion. Well, I thought these would be really fun to share with you today just because you had to buy the mystery box in order to get them. So it makes it a little harder to get these and add them to your collection unless you're just like me and you go on eBay and buy them from somebody. <laughs> Which these are pretty easy to find. So if you want to go to eBay or you know check out your favorite you know, Pest Facebook group and look for some of these for sale. I think you're gonna be able to find them pretty easily. And they are so colorful and nice. I think they'll look really great in your pest collection. I'm really glad I was able to add them to mine. But let me know in the comments below, do you like these monster cereals, pop pest dispensers? I think they're really great. <laughs> I'd love to hear from you. If you have these in your pest collection, let me know as well. Or if you're wanting to get them, you know, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. If you do want to talk to me more, I'm also Erin Collects Pez over on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So if you want to say hey, you know, tell me more about your collection or, you know, wherever you collect Pez in the world. I love hearing from people. Like I just heard from somebody in Australia. So I thought that was really fun to hear more about, you know, Pez collecting all over the world because it is different no matter where you live, you know, whatever Pez you can buy from the different Pez companies which makes it a little different, especially like the packaging and the candy. And we don't always get the same Pez dispensers. So I always think it's a lot of fun to hear from other Pez collectors around the world. So, you know, make sure you say hi. <laughs> but if you want to support the channel, you can buy me a Pez dispenser. I did set up a buy me a coffee, but I changed it to buy me a Pez dispenser and I'll link it down below in the description here. So if you want to support the channel, go over to buy me a coffee and buy me a Pez dispenser. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> but another way to support my channel would just be by subscribing. I just hit 500 subscribers here on YouTube which blows my mind because that means there's 500 other pest collectors out in the world <laughs> that watch my videos and I really appreciate it you know if you watch my videos if you subscribe if you hit that thumbs up or if you comment down below so you can talk to me I just love hearing from other pest collectors and I've heard from so many people so far that every time I get a comment or you know, a message on social media. I just love it. I mean, I hear from people all over the world, you know, all over the United States even. You know, you don't just have to live outside of the United States to talk to me. <laughs> but when I hear from people outside the United States and the pest collecting is different, so that's what fascinates me because I know what's going on here in the United States for Pez USA. But when you go outside of the United States for pest collecting, it's just different. And I love hearing about it and learning more about it from other pest collectors. I probably rambled on a little bit too long there, but I really do appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you Tuesday. Bye! I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from nobody else.